right, we are here with Banditos. They just played an amazing set here in the CME basement. Guys, congrats. Hey, amazing. Um, I know that y'all hail from Birmingham originally, correct? Um, so what was your origin story? I guess, how did Banditos come to be? Do you want to take it? Do you want to take, take it? it? All right. Well, we all grew up in around Birmingham. Some of us went to the same school, a couple of us, but in the same area and uh, met at the same kind of like DIY punk club around 15, 16. It was kind of like the hardcore noise, you know, scene. And um, yeah, slowly started playing in bands together um, and eventually found this, found this one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so your musical style is obviously a conglomerate of many genres, um, but who are some of your biggest musical influences? Let's see. What do you What do you say, boys? Uh, I can't stop listening to Bobby Charles. Oh, I yeah. did mm -hmm. continuously. Spotify has got my number on that one. Um, <laughs> every time I turn it on, it's just saying it, and I agree with it. Uh, it's what I want to hear. I guess we we're all really greatly influenced by 60s, 70s, kind of rock and roll, like standard stuff. But, yeah. you know, we have modern day um, take on it, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Know. Hear that in your music for yeah. sure. She struck a match and all the air was sucked out with it. Before she took a drag of red discard from the shop She said, baby, I was scraping biceps before you could even spell struggle And I just nodded my hand, I ordered her a double The last of his cash in the music machine Flesh and sex shot as if they were articles in his week magazine He played six George Jones songs and sat back down to his cheap whiskey Then he thought about his kids and he wondered do they even miss me Life is a trick and then you die Five sad songs in the last in line. Take me, struck a chord in her mind. She said, I haven't heard this one since I was a girl back in 1969. He wiped a tear from his face, and she made eyes. Do you have any advice for any upcoming or new artists that are trying to get on the scene, that are trying to kind of find their sound? Like, is there something that, some one piece of advice that you would give to them just starting out? Play live. Play, yeah, play live. I, yeah. I, especially nowadays, I feel like mm -hmm. so many people play in the bedroom, you know, and play mm -hmm. music that way. And I mean, which is great. It's a, I feel like a whole new way of collaboration, but it's a different experience playing with people in a room and, you yeah. know. Having a energy. moment that only exists at that moment. Yeah, 
even if no one will book you, you can if you can find people to play with, it's, yeah, it's important. Yeah, more about you know. playing together than it is playing for people sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Some kind of way Escaping and dreaming Half believing everything I say And when the sun goes down At the end of the day I pull myself together Saying it'll be over one thing that you would want your audience to take from your music um, that it besides felt, dancing yeah I like dancing <laughs> I don't know that it felt like something uh, real authentic something that felt like uh, a conversation without having any like words exchanged like you know we felt like you know each other at the end of it like you can see who we are through your music that's what you want to that's yeah. what I want to take away when I see an artist you know connection mm-hmm. connection mm-hmm. yeah for sure beautiful yeah <laughs> that was great yeah amazing session you guys thank you so much for thank sitting you. down and thank hanging you. out with me a little bit and for talking sure. and picking your brains a little so yeah. it's nice to meet y'all you too yeah, yeah. nice to meet you too
Sure. 